If you have seen Hollywood movies like King Kong from 2005, Kong Skull Island from 2017, and Rampage from 2018, then you would agree that the gorilla is indeed a fascinating animal. As expected, these movies and many others like it did misrepresent some things about these intelligent primates. We'll get to that part later. Native to the African continent, gorillas are extremely large apes with an intimidating muscular profile. They have broad chests, high shoulders, muscular arms, and a hairless face which appears to constantly put on a frown even though it isn't. There are two basic species of gorillas, Eastern Gorilla and Western Gorilla. Each is subdivided into two subspecies, Eastern Lowland Gorillas and Mountain Gorillas for the first, while Western Lowland Gorilla and Cross River Gorilla are for the second. Just like their names, the Mountain Gorilla lives in mountainous regions and tend to be bigger and with longer hair than Lowland Gorillas, which live in lowland areas and have soft, short hair. Even the name Gorilla is tied to this hairy nature of gorillas. History has it that around 500 BC, so 2,500 years ago, Hanno, the Carthaginian explorer, visited West Africa where he encountered a group of mostly female primates. When he asked his interpreters what they were called in the local dialect, the response was gorille, which literally meant hairy women. Gorillas are the largest living primates on the planet. When standing on their hind legs, they could reach heights of 4 to 6 feet, 1.2 to 1.8 meters. There is considerable difference in the weight of subspecies. The lowland gorilla tends to be smaller, weighing between 150 to 400 pounds, about 70 to 180 kilograms, while the mountain gorilla weighs usually 300 to 485 pounds, about 135 to 220 kilograms of muscular mass. The heaviest gorilla ever recorded in the wild weighed almost 600 pounds, or 270 kilograms, and the heaviest in captivity about 680 pounds, or 310 kilograms. All four subspecies of the gorilla is native to Africa, and wild populations can only be found in the Africa continent. In their natural habitat, mountain gorillas can be found on lush green volcanic mountains in countries such as Uganda, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Lowland gorillas, on the other hand, live in the tropical forests of Western and Central Africa. These could be found in countries such as Nigeria, Cameroon, Angola, Congo, Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Gabon. In these places, the gorilla's territory could be as large as 41 square kilometers or 16 square miles, with a troop which could number up to 30, led by an alpha male often called a silverback. Fossil records indicate that the gorilla has been in existence for at least 7 million years. That is a million years older than both chimps and humans. In the wild, gorillas can live up to 35 years old. In captivity, however, provided they receive adequate medical care, access to plentiful food, and enough home range to exercise their huge bulk and bones, gorillas can live to be more than 50 years old. By the way, did you know that gorillas are susceptible to quite a lot of human diseases? They can contract many of these diseases simply through touch. This is why it is often prohibited for visitors and tourists to touch them while they are in the zoo or in their natural habitats in national parks. The most common are respiratory infections such as tuberculosis. Another common respiratory virus which is easy to transfer from humans to gorillas is the common cold virus. There is but one more globally feared virus that has greatly reduced the population of gorillas, the Ebola virus. Scientists believe that the Ebola virus was responsible for the death of one-third of a wild gorilla population. Since gorillas could live as much as 35 years in the wild and 50 in captivity, 
This begs the question, what do gorillas eat over the course of so many years? Irrespective of what the movies depict, gorillas are vegetarians, although they may once in a while include ants in their menu. They eat such plants as tender bamboo, leafy plants, barks of trees, shoots, fruits, tree pulp, roots, and sometimes small insects. Adult males have been known to eat up to 40 pounds, about 18 kilograms of food a day. Each troop of gorillas is led by the alpha male, which is often referred to as a silverback due to the patch of gray hair that decorates his back. The silverback gorilla is often the oldest male in the group and hence employs his years of experience to lead his troops to choice areas within his territory where they could feed to their satisfaction. The troop often go out foraging in the mornings and evenings while spending the afternoon maintaining social bonds through grooming, playing, and resting under trees since the African sun can sometimes be inclement. Due to the physically intimidating muscular bulk and the tremendous strength which gorillas possess, they have no natural predator that would dare attack them except for the sometimes opportunistic leopard that would occasionally attack with the aim of snatching an infant gorilla. By the way, a baby gorilla is also called an infant, just like the human baby. That shouldn't be surprising since we're cousins after all, and it is these same cousins humans that pose the greatest threat to the survival of gorillas. The gorilla had been on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's list of critically endangered species for decades until November 2018 when gorillas were reclassified as endangered species due to the rising population recorded. The population didn't just begin to recover on its own. Serious conservative efforts and laws were put into place in order to safeguard these majestic giants. The conservative efforts were so serious to the point that in certain places such as Nigeria, local communities came together to set up communities which enlisted the help of ex-hunters to protect the habituated gorillas. The Cross River Gorilla, which is often found in both Nigeria and Cameroon, is still considered critically endangered making it the most endangered and rarest of all subspecies. In fact, there was a time prior to the 1980s when this subspecies were considered to be extinct. It was not until the 1980s when news got out that these gorillas have been sighted once again. The portrayal of gorillas as ferocious carnivorous man-eating beasts is largely inaccurate and exaggerated. What seems to be responsible for the stereotypical description of gorillas as savage beasts might be due to the animal's intimidating size and muscular frame. Also, if one is chance to witness the silverback while he is displaying a show of power, one might be tempted to stereotype gorillas as huge beasts that would attack any human with brute force. If a silverback is challenged by an opponent over his territorial right, the silverback is always ready to reaffirm his authority by standing on his two legs, beating his chest, and giving a loud roar aimed at scaring the challenger into retreat. While they are powerful enough to pose as dangers to humans, they are, however, naturally gentle giants if not provoked or disturbed. As such, there has not been a single record of a gorilla eating a human being. There are records of gorillas attacking humans, but in all cases, they never ate the person, and the attacked human being was mostly the one blamed. Gorillas are truly an intelligent, majestic species, and they themselves know it. They often walk on all fours in such regal pose and manner. We really need to intensify efforts at conserving these species, since after all, they are our cousins with whom we share a preponderance of our genetic material. Not only are they the largest primates alive and do help preserve the biodiversity of where they are located, they also serve as links to our ancient origin. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and comment below.